talking as we walked in briefly about how the UK is correct. So just, we agree. <laughs> we'll shake on we that. Agree. We agree. <laughs> yeah, we agree. So do you want to just give us a little snapshot of your thought on the state of the UK, the politics in the UK, the, the yeah, your thoughts? Sure. Right now, and I'll say this publicly, as we speak right now, the UK is trying to put me in jail. England, because Romania has failed, so England has picked up. And England's coming up me with all this garbage, and they're going to try and charge me soon with some imaginary crimes. Maybe it's why they'll drop the documentary. Well, there you go. Of yeah. course, because you have to. You first, you have to poison the public's mind. Yep, yep. yep. To believe that you to are believe the that. Right. Back with some more news. Right now, we're about to dive into the Andrew Tate situation. We're about to see: Are they setting him up, or is he guilty? Y'all be the judge and let me know in the comments. My personal opinion: I think this is all a setup. They're just using the past against them. You understand? So let's go. Sit back and react with your boy. If you like reactions like this, consider hitting the like button. Definitely subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell. Let's Believe go. That, right? yep. So the UK is trying to put me in jail. And I'm saying this now on this podcast. Everyone listen to me. The UK is coming next. Romania's failed. UK's picked it up. I skipped my haircut to let you know how gay these people are. I woke are we... you up to let you know how gay everyone is. It's all been gay since Neil Patrick Harris, bro. Why is this? This isn't new. This isn't new. It is new because what they're doing is they're psyoping everybody by building up false idols and then forcing them to collapse via humiliation. And I've realized okay. that they attempted to do this to us, which we both know. But then, Tristan, do you remember when we were getting arrested because we refused to take that $50 million sponsorship contract, which made us basically gay and we yeah. refuse to take it yeah because they told us effectively in fact let's let's just tell them how it is and as the uk try and put me in jail i sit and i wonder i say imagine being a prosecutor i probably shouldn't say this stuff i'm just gonna say it and you get paid i don't know three grand a month or whatever two grand a month and you're sitting there just looking through my whole life for months oh he made money oh that's a lot of money that must be a crime oh, ferrari oh that's a crime Oh my God, he has a nice watch. Crime. Like, and just sitting there, the obsession. And for like six months, just sitting there. Just unlocked the yeah. like, It's kind of weird that there's all these full grown adults with this much obsession making documentaries, trying to take me down, prosecutors in dark rooms mm -hmm. going through my life, trying to take me down, ex girlfriend blowing up my phone when I don't reply to anymore. <laughs> like, everyone's just like, uh, uh, it's weird. And I just wake up going, there's so many other people's lives which are just intertwined with mine. Or obsessed with. Let me explain to everybody how the world works. Oscars are a reward for being owned. Congratulations, you've been a good slave to the Matrix. You've been a good, you've been a good cog in the system. You don't get an Oscar unless they're happy with you. How and why would they be happy with you? Well, I don't think many people understand that streaming is a relatively new phenomenon, and streamers becoming cultural icons is certainly a very new phenomenon. Five, six years. Yeah. You can become well-known on the internet, streaming on a platform like Rumble because of free speech, without a gatekeeper. True. But traditionally, normally, if you want to get famous in any sphere, there is gatekeeping. So let me give you some examples. If you want to become a famous streamer, you can't say anything against the Matrix or YouTube will stop you. One thing I'm going to say, Andrew Tate got a super strong point right here when it comes to what he just said. Real talk, all right? It's not only that platform. It's many platforms. Right now, you got to be careful solely because of the dollar. You need the dollar. The investors want to invest. And this is how they put you on a chokehold. You understand what I'm saying? It's like danging that old carrot in front of you. That's all. Yes. There's a wall. This is the wall. And at some point, the wall... Turns gay. Turns gay. It's a rainbow wall. It's a rainbow. If I had more colors, I'd do a rainbow wall. We're going to go black and blue. Shit. Nice. So you're a person, right? Gaykeepers, this chat's saying. Gaykeepers. Nice. Gaykeepers. So you're a person, and you have dreams and ambitions. This is you, person. I'm going to illustrate this with a graph. You're a, you're a guy, and you want to become an actor or a singer or a streamer, or an, a novelist, doesn't matter what you want to be, and you think that your talent and your hard work will get you there, and then you realize you need some networking, you need to know the right people, and then you're going to realize that sooner or later you're going to come up to a gatekeeper, and a gatekeeper is either going to be a publicist, a manager, an agent, 
a production company, a streaming platform. It doesn't matter if it's YouTube. It doesn't matter if it's it doesn't matter if it's Warner Brothers. Sooner or later, for you to be well known, you're gonna have to do a deal with the people who are in charge. And the deal they basically want for you to do is become gay. You can only get so large until you hit that wall. And you either bounce off it and go down to nobody and all your dreams and aspirations are crushed, or you go through it and come out covered in rainbow flags and come. As you can see from the diagram here, the blue line represents people like me and Andrew. So you have the fame axis and the success axis. So you start from nowhere. Everyone is here. Even you watching at home are here with no success and no fame. Me and Andrew are what the blue line should have been. And the blue line goes up here. And this, this line here that, cert that intersects our graph is the gay line. Gay line. And if you don't turn gay at this line, what they do is there's a matrix attack which spirals your fame into oblivion, or that's what should have happened. That's what the, the standard operating procedure is. There's the gay line, there's the go to Israel line. There are lots of lines that they want you to go through. Yes, this is part of the propaganda campaign because the UK is now ramping up its legal attack on me and they want to put me in jail for some reason because Iranian has failed, so now they're going to try. So they're going to try and poison public mind first. Which makes it another thing interesting, and we're going to say this on the podcast because why not? People say to me, oh, you're in Romania, you're going through the Romanian legal system, isn't that scary? Do you think it's corrupt? And I say, well, the Romanian legal system is not as politically charged as the West. Do I have a fairer shot in a UK court where members of parliament discuss how I am dangerous and should be in jail? I mean, they've already banned you from schools and stuff like that. Being uh, do I get a fair trial in England? Mm. But he is now a disgraced influencer whose Twitter spat with climate activist Greta Thunberg ultimately led to his arrest in Romania last month. This was over allegations of rape, human trafficking and organised crime. Now, in his videos, which have amassed over 13 billion views on TikTok, TikTok, he describes hitting and choking women, trashing their belongings, stopping them from leaving the house, and describes them as, his words, his property. So we've compiled a selection of just some of the more tame comments, but please be warned that some people may find these highly offensive. First things first is this, right? I have a major problem when I see a talk show full of women. They don't understand anything how a man's life works. What does she mean by what she just said right now? This has nothing to do with anything right here. And how is she fear mongering the viewers by saying, you know what? Just just preparing you. These are going to be some very disturbing words. Now you put it into their mind like like that's mental manipulation right there. You understand? I really I'm really not feeling when they do this right here. This right here is what you call controlling the narrative. I don't see any kids being bothered by this i don't see any kids being disrupted by this i really think they reached too far if you ask me let me know in the comments i mean shocking yeah. shocking I mean, the gasp the gasps from our audience were audible to us up here it, it's all it's almost like it, if somebody said actually it was a comedy show it was a joke or you can't believe that somebody is actually saying those things the danger is janet as i said the, there are a lot of young boys young men boys as young as seven being influenced by this man, and not just this man, there are now other influencers who kind of follow his greed, yes. oh. who are also pushing out this kind of misogynistic There's content. There's millions of posts and tweets, and the interaction is huge, and it's something that we wouldn't know about, because it's boys doing it on their yeah. phones, boys in their bedrooms, their parents have now. All the anxiety up to now has been about sexting and, and pornography. I'm sure at this point, y'all understand where I'm coming from, right? You hear what she's saying? These people need to live in a closet and never come out. Just stay there. Just lock the door. Stay away from everybody. You don't deserve to have any animals to protect you. Nothing. How do you sound? What do you mean right now? I'm like, where the men? I don't want to hear them talk about anything like this. Where the fathers at? Do they have a problem with this? Or, or how about this? Better yet, why are the schools doing this? Isn't this, it, shouldn't this only concern the parents? Like, But this is so much worse. And I found out about it because a friend of mine is a trainee teacher in a school in East Anglia. And she uh, just started in a comprehensive and a boy in her class said, I'm not gonna be taught by a woman. 
Whoa. And the school have told her, well, the policy is if a boy says that, he has to be removed from the class and uh, that we have to contain it. But he's just being the brave one who's spoken this rubbish. Mm -hmm. Loads of boys in the class will be agreeing with him but be too frightened to say anything. So, uh, so it's something that schools and parents are going to have to deal with. Just because Andrew Tate at the moment is remanded in custody awaiting, uh, you know, trial and possible charges and, and possible trial, uh, doesn't mean it's going to go away because there are other people taking his place. But and it's been going on for several years. I mean, he was a, originally a contestant in Big Brother mm. uh, a, f a few years ago before he was chucked out. But the whole philosophy is that women are second rate, women are second best, and it's allied to boys, particularly young teenage boys, not feeling they have a purpose in life, not feeling they have a role, don't have any ambition, nobody cares about them, that women are... All the attention is on women and women are achieving. And it is true that academically girls are doing uh, slightly better than boys at the moment. So schools are going to have to deal with it and... It's not something they can ignore. No, well, we're saying, you know, we said he's in jail at the moment, but there are God, other... God, rots in I'm, there. I'm not going to name them, but there are other British... You heard what she said, right? She said she hoped he rots in there. What did he really do to deserve that? Ask yourself that, lady. ...influences, and I was just reading some of the things that they're putting out. And this one, an insecure girlfriend is a well-behaved one. Never allow her to become too comfortable. When a woman becomes too comfortable in a relationship, everything suffers. Her weight, her attitude, oh her sex God. drive, her cooperation. Women who are just a little insecure, meaning they understand very clearly that they can and will be replaced if their man decides to, are much better behaved. And that's just one of many but gloria is school the place do you think it is up well to I, I wanted to pick up on this because i don't know a lot about um andrew tate except i saw it on the news that he'd been arrested or had been brought in charge and i was shocked to find out that he has billions billions of these young boys young men following him and <clears throat> at my age i don't know how you would actually deal with that because it's one of the perils of social media and i worry Again, at my point, I do lot, don't do a lot of social media, but I hear what goes on. And I really worry about that. But I think Janet is right, or your friend is right, because I'm, even going back to my day at school, you would never talk to your parents about sex. You just wouldn't, mm. you know. No. But our headmaster and headmistress, they were really, really ahead of the game. But now you can see how all of this weirdo stuff happened. You hear what she just said right now? Like... She's pro that right now, what she just said. She believe in her mind that that is the correct way. The parents are the ones who are responsible to teach their kids from A to Z. You understand me? The school is just helping. That's all. But the parent is the one, yo. How I look like having a school teaching my kid about certain things like that. Unbelievable, yo. For real. Like, they're going to have the best interest when they see thousands of children <laughs> throughout the years. Come on, man. Miss me with that. Because they did the teaching about sex and about how you should treat women and so on and so forth, or boys, whatever the case is, is. But they had a box, and you could put any question you wanted into that box anonymously. Now, of course, some of the questions were way out, mm. etc. Mm. Tell me, I walk into the English court, trial, judge, law, because that's not subjective at all, mm. of course. And I walk in there and members of parliament are saying I'm dangerous and the news is saying I'm dangerous and the BBC is saying I'm dangerous and everyone's saying I should go to jail. When I stand there in front of the judge and said, I haven't done anything, yeah, be your Andrew Tate jail. What the, f what? Yeah, what the fuck? Do, I, do I get a fair shot in England? Yeah. I doubt it. Mm. I heavily doubt it. Now, of course, all my boys are in jail, so it'd be easier than Romanian jail. I mean, it's not nothing. I've, I've done the hard work, so it's like Butlins compared to what I've been through. <laughs> but do I even get a fair shot? And then you go further down the rabbit hole and you realize that at the highest echelons of fame and notoriety, the whole legal system is just theater anyway. Hours after their arrest, the Tate brothers, handcuffed, were taken into court. Tristan first, then Andrew, fighting immediate extradition to the UK. The judge ruled the Tates will have to return. The Tate brothers are now back here in their compound, complete with security. And as you can see, luxury cars on the drive. You arrest again? 
Why? In Bucharest, for the past two years, they've been fighting charges of human bought by Romanian women. Andrew Tate is also accused of... Now the siblings face similar accusations from British women made to Bedfordshire police dating back to 2012 to 2015. It's serious and that's, allegations, but you, you must accept I'm that. Not, uh, the, there's been some more unseen footage where Andrew Tate gets into a confrontation with the reporters after his arrest recently. It said Andrew Tate insists he and his brother are very innocent men and blamed Satanist after learning he will be extracted back to the UK to face allegations of rape and human trafficking. If it happens, but he had said this to the reporters. And serious and that's, allegations, but you, you must accept I'm that they're, not, they're, they're very if serious If you interrupt me again, sir, please. So, what happens is, when you get to a certain level of fame, they go through your entire life forensically and try and destroy you. And what have they found on us? Some old YouTube videos that we po published ourselves. I called Supposedly my ex-girlfriend's a slave once on the WhatsApp chat. That's it. In 2012, there's no perversion. Nothing untoward. What have they found on us? Here we are two years into this process. You don't see any girls with bruises. You don't see any. Where's the victims of yeah, all this? The, the, whole th the whole thing is garbage. It's head to toe garbage. The Matrix attack. And I this, can't wait to this, see it. This man here may not understand it, no, but okay. I think the rest of you actually do. But you I must thank accept you very much that these are extreme. Eamon said to me, uh, and they are not allowing you to say Andrew Tate's name. If anyone says free top G, guess what ends up happening? Schools across the UK are in crisis as the effects of online influencer Andrew Tate's vile misogyny infiltrates our classrooms and society. The second reason was when Andrew Tate became Muslim. When Andrew Tate became Muslim, and you're thinking, why is that? I saw that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he put this individual at a certain place where... He put this individual at a certain place where he was the most googled man on earth he became the most searched man on planet earth yes he has so much rubbish that we don't agree with so much rubbish that we don't agree with but at the same time have you thought about it in a world which is just fully collapsing comes a man out of nowhere literally out of nowhere and he becomes the most famous person on earth and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decrees that he's blessed with Islam he is the most influential to non-Muslim young white men in the West. That is probably the hardest group of people to get through to when it comes to that one. And he has softened them up. I'm not saying he's done the job. He has softened them up to Islam. So many people are saying that they want to be Muslim. Why? Because of Tate. So many youngsters, subhanAllah, like even with me, they message me. Even with me on my YouTube channel when they comment. What did they say? They say, Tate makes sense. I get why he became Muslim. What does Andrew even say about Islam? He says, why did you accept Islam? He said, name me another religion. Name me another religion that doesn't tolerate anything and everything. SubhanAllah, he has even taught us that we can't even be liberal Muslims. That it's not praiseworthy to dilute your deen. Andrew Tate may have been arrested and jailed for allegedly assaulting women, but he still has many loyal supporters and some of them are as young as school children, unfortunately. Now teachers are struggling to de-radicalize the young misogynists in their classroom. And this is really concerning because it gives you a sense of just how widespread Andrew Tate's influence has been on not just young men, but in this case, young boys. So Tate has received a lot of media attention lately, but teachers and parents say that kids have long been familiar with his content online. One teacher in South London noticed that his students were parroting Tate's ideology and tried to start a conversation with them about it, which I'm super grateful for. You know, he's trying to kind of deprogram what these kids have learned through Andrew Tate's material. The Times recently reported that schools across the UK are in crisis as the effects of online influencer Andrew Tate's vile misogyny infiltrates our classrooms and society. Teachers are now having to develop their own resources to re-educate boys who are being brainwashed online by his deeply toxic messaging. Wait a minute. Who are you? If you ask me, re-educate only means brainwash, right? It's ridiculous, man. It's like an oxymoron. I don't understand. She's like a gaslighter. How, like, how ignorant can you really be, right? These are the people who are in control of your children over there. I feel sorry. I feel sorry. The Prime Minister has been too slow to recognize this damage this is causing. What has he done? What is his government doing to tackle this misogyny, this incel culture, and the radicalization of young men in this country? And will he commit to giving teachers the resources that they need to address this problem head on? Yeah. Well, uh, 
Mr Speaker, with regard to funding, we announced in the autumn statement £2 billion of extra funding for our schools. But I'm also proud that this Government has introduced the world-leading, world-first online safety bill, which specifically improves protections for children and puts very...